I'm not going to lie. You like me, we asking the same things. Like, come on, keep it real with me. How big was it? Wait, wait, that's pause. Well, like, okay, it was Friday night. It's like 10 something. So how he gave it to you? Wait, wait, that that's even pause her. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I ain't going to lie, I'm pocket watching, but I'm also trying to figure out how much money does it take to get the judge to dismiss the case at 10 o'clock on a Friday. Now, we not going to glorify or harp on the money because all jokes aside, um, all thought business and pocket watching aside, that money will never erase the memories and the trauma that Cassie went through. That money can't buy a new memory or give her opportunity and chances back or time. That money is not even for Cassie as far as I say it like this. That 30 million is like you having a 30 million dollar life insurance on your parents and you get and it's in your account. Yeah, you got the money, but you're not finna enjoy spending that shit. Not for real. Cause you know where it came from. You know why you got it. And you know what you had to go through to get it. And truth be told, I'm pretty sure he owes her more than that based on his uh Long, long history of fucked up contracts. But let's just stick to one thing at a time. Cassie took that money to save her family. Not because they was hurting. Cassie took that money to not have to put herself, her husband, and her kids through a trial. Laying out all those details. It's hard enough for her being a victim to be done healed, move forward, and try to move on with her life. This is Diddy we talk about. They could be tied up in court for three years with this case. Re-talking about it, rehashing it, picking a scab. She got to go through it. She got to sit up there and watch this man act like he ain't doing knowing what he did. She got to retell them stories and get cross-examined and the whole thing. Her husband was around, around the ass end of it, no pun intended, and he may have to ask questions. It may be stuff her attorney want to ask about her mental, psychological state when he met her. The things they've had to do for her to overcome it. And I'm pretty sure... A thousand percent sure, hella therapy one of this. And honestly, a two to three year trial rehashing this would be totally retroactive to whatever step she's taking to move past this. So yeah, y'all happy about that 30 and saying she got off. Cassie took that money to save her family, to spare her husband the embarrassment. And so that won't be something that's Googleable for her kids when they're of age. When they want to see who mommy was and why everybody know mommy and how cool mommy was back in the day, that the, the, the trial does not need to be. Y'all think y'all worry about puff secrets coming out. That wasn't the biggest worry. I guarantee you. Because I know, you know, no, no disrespect, but I'm pretty sure she told her husband some of the shit, but I'm pretty sure she ain't tell her husband everything. Because he, he cuz was doing this shit like damn like once a week, twice a week. It was good for 13 years. They started doing this two, three years in. That's 11 years of having fuck-offs. It's 52 weeks in a year. You do it once a week. That's 52 niggas in a year. Time's ticking. We ain't, so we ain't gonna even do the math. And I pray everything's still okay down there. So my, you know, whatever. But I will say, that money was not for Cassie. That money was to save Cassie's marriage. That money was to keep the real horrific details and stories out of the press. And that money was to... At least, at least, be able to say you ain't get away scot free. Because by you paying the money, you pretty much admitting you did it. And if you ain't do what was in that paper, you did something. See, the conflict was she thought you did thirty million dollars worth of trauma. You thought you only did ten to fifteen. Well. Just from the couple of nights she highlighted, oh, man. Can you imagine what she would say on that stand if she was to get up there and go day for day and really went into detail about the abortions and the, oh, man, come on. You know what I mean? Do you, do you know who that would do to Puffy if she had to give the details of them freak-offs under oath and he had to answer under oath? Oh, man. Talk about zesty hot dog on aisle nine. Come on. Everything isn't about money. Money don't fix everything. Money really don't fix shit but bills. Let's just, let's just keep it real. So, we happy Cassie got the settlement. I think she got a peace of mind by him even settling. He ain't even trying to fight it. And you damn near admitting you guilty. 
And we also know you're protecting your ass. No pun intended. And it might be the first time you ever protected your ass. And that's crazy. Because when you were scared of them ass stories coming out, you protected your ass. We're going to stay tuned because this is not over. Oh, no. Cats is just a whistleblower. I'm, I'm interested to see who come out next. Usher, Justin Bieber, Bentley Fonsworth. You already see the girl, uh, uh, RB Day or whatever from Danny DeCain. She already, she ready to do a whole reality show, all boy band, girl band, talk about all the fucked up shit they had to go through. She ain't even listen. When Puff gave the, the publisher back, she ain't take it. That's what they ain't tell us. The publishing that he gave back came with an NDA requirement. He knew this was coming. And you thought you crossed all your I's and dotted all your T's. But so you couldn't even get in contact with Cassie to give her shit back. And that's a gift and a curse because she ain't really had that much motherfucking music to even be tripping on no goddamn publishing to stay quiet. That NDA shit is wild. And as we're dealing in business, I feel like a romantic relationship, a sexual relationship is nowhere that an NDA should be implemented. And that's a fucking red flag if they insist upon it or won't move forward. Like, what the fuck you plan on doing in, in there to where I can't tell nobody, not even my mama, for the rest of my life or whatever the duration is? And that's another thing. Everybody keeps saying that it was because the stature of limitation. New York extended the statute of limitation. She waited till her NDA was over. As soon as her NDA was over, boom. I need that bag or, hey, it is what it is. But y'all let me know what, you, what, what y'all think, man. How much you think she got? Do y'all think Puffy finna get hit with the Rico? Because he's definitely sex trafficking. He's definitely using his power, money, and influence to run a criminal organization. If sex trafficking is a charge that he's hit with, which it is, Cross the state lines, making this girl do free calls in different states with different men against her will. Hey, coercing her to do drugs, fearing for her life, beating on her. You know, the whole thing. You're using your, your label as, as, as your muscle to go get her. That's a lot. He'd be a white. Leave it to Puffy to get a Rico about being a freaky ass nigga and telling his girl to go find him a big black stick. That's crazy. Is Puffy about to get the Rico? How much money did Cassie get? And who's next to hit that nigga with the Mr. Me Too? Because at this point, anybody can say, he, he, he ain't trying he ain't even trying to have a nigga playing or joking. You fuck around and say, hey, I was there and I remember this. Or do you remember the time? Don't fuck around and have an address. That, that, like you, you got anything, a tangible memory where he'd be like, oh, shit, maybe. Because I guarantee you, he done did so much drugs, he don't even know what he done did. It's finna be PPP. On P. Diddy. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, man. Then the notification bell so when I drop it, you got it. It's your boy, Hustle Simmons, and I'm out. You big.